Hi investors, it's Bernice with turnkeyinvest.com and today we're in the 38128 taking a look at an unincorporated home that is a B plus property. This home is listed at 2249 and we are at 4839 Royal Run Road in Memphis, Tennessee. This is a four bed, two and a half bath with county taxes only. Let's go take a look. At first glance, you can tell that this home has a manageable front lawn, a two car front load garage, don't mind the rubble on the right here. Looks like they've been doing some updates to the home. Let's head inside and take a look. Upon entry, we are greeted with the living room. The living room has hard surface flooring. Very spacious closet off of the living area here. There's an open floor plan. Here we have the dining room. Tile flooring in the dining room. Plenty of room for table, chairs. Maybe a pie shelf for storage. This goes into the kitchen here. Tile flooring in the kitchen, lots of cabinet and counter space. Looks like for me, good countertops. Stainless steel sink. It does appear that the cabinets have been freshly painted. Now the seller is offering a $4,500 uh, credit for appliances. Well, a $4,500 appliance package, my apologies. Here we have the washer and dryer hookup. Through here, we also have a guest bath. This would be that half bath. Perfect for when you entertain and people come over. They don't have to use your personal bath. You always have this one set up, ready to go, or your tenants do. Looks like the vanity does need updated. Wire rack shelving above the washer and dryer hookup. In here we have the two car garage. Plenty of room for both your cars and storage. Ooh, yay. The water heater is located in the garage in a drip pan. Now I do not know the age of this water heater. As I was not able to pull a disclosure sheet for this property. But it's nice to have this in the garage in case of any leaks. It's a water heater, there will always be leaks. That way it does not ruin your flooring inside the home. If we walk back through the kitchen and the living area, I'm gonna take you upstairs to see the bedrooms, which the quick access to the bedrooms from the front door, just take right up the stairs. Hard surface flooring on the stairs. Now this home is 15 miles to downtown, 14 minutes from Bartlett. Um, the closest work options would be Amazon, which, the Amazon Fulfillment Center, which is nine minutes away, and the Nike Warehouse, which is 12 minutes away. Down the hall to the left here, we have bedroom number four. Hard surface flooring in the bedroom. Now the upstairs of this home uh, received all new windows. Dual closets for this bedroom. Hard surface flooring flows into the bottom. We have the wire rack shelving up top. Same for its second closet. 
You could fit a full bed in here and a dresser with room to spare. At the very end of this hall, we have bedroom number three. Bedroom number three could fit a full bed and a dresser or a twin and a dresser with room to spare. Dual closets for this bedroom as well. Hard surface flooring closed in the bottom where rack shelving up top. Same for the second. Lots of storage in this home. Let's take a look at the secondary bedroom. Bedroom number two could fit a full bed and a dresser. Dual closets for this bedroom as well. Hard surface flooring goes into the bottom of the closet. Oh, this one is all one closet. Wire rack shelving up top. Very spacious closet here. As you're heading up the stairs and you take a right, at the end of the hall, we have the primary. Very large primary. This home also features new exterior and interior paint. You could fit a queen bed in here, a dresser or two with room to spare. Lots of natural light in this bedroom. Here we have the primary full bath, tile flooring in the bath, large vanity, large one sink vanity. Does look like the um, cabinets will need to be updated. We'll maintain tub and shower. Here we have the walk-in closet for the primary. Wear rack shelving up top. Lots of room in this closet. Now if we head back down the hall, here we have the shared bath for bedrooms two, three, and four. Tile flooring in this bathroom. Same vanity as the primary bath. I would say the cabinets need updated. Honestly, this countertop might need to be updated as well. It does have a couple scuffs. Here we have a well-maintained tub and shower. Directly across from this bathroom, we have an extra storage closet. Wire rack shelving up top, hard surface flooring in the bottom. It is a very deep closet. All right, just to recap, we head up the stairs here. To the right, we have the primary. To the left, we have bedrooms two, three, and four. And located right next to the primary, we have the shared bath for bedrooms two, three, and four. Directly across from that, we have a deep closet for storage. Let's head back downstairs and take a look at the backyard. Now this home is located in a quiet neighborhood. The neighbors are very friendly. I talked to them for a little bit this morning. This home is located um, eight minutes away from Rayleigh Egypt High School and seven minutes away from Egypt Elementary School. Raw iron security doors.
very peaceful out here, very quiet. Serene backyard, one might say. This backyard is perfect for outdoor activities, gardening, or just relaxing and enjoying the fresh air. It is a fenced in backyard, perfect for any security or privacy concerns. There is a nice patio to put a couple chairs to either entertain or just relax with the family. And this home is located near Nesbitt Park, which is 10 minutes away and Quail Ridge Park, which is six minutes away. Quick pan of the exterior of the home. The roof appears to be in good condition. I do see a couple roof pops, not too bad. Like I said, I was not able to pull a disclosure sheet, so I also do not know the age of the roof. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. If you have any further questions about this property, need help building your portfolio, or just have questions about investing in Memphis and the surrounding areas, please feel free to reach out to my team at turnkeyinvest.com. We have the link below. We also have the link to ibuyyourhouse.com and foundationpropertymanagement.com. And if you like these home tours and would like to see more, we would greatly appreciate it if you like and shared this video. Also, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Bye.